So hey, this is uh, workbench tour number three. This is my English joiner's bench, sometimes called a Nicholson workbench after Peter Nicholson, who first showed it in Mechanics Companion. This bench is built in yellow pine. I built it in about 2006 for my first woodworking book called Workbenches. It's been heavily modified. And let's take a look at some of those modifications and what has worked and what hasn't worked. Here is Peter Nicholson's drawing of uh, the workbench that we sometimes call the Nicholson. Uh, it is similar in that it has a front apron and a big wide top, but it has a different face vise, different legs, no tail vise. It's actually quite a different bench uh, when it comes to work holding. We'll start with the face vise. This is a Czechoslovakian or Eastern European screw uh, that drives this sort of old school leg vise, and uh, it has a parallel guide down below. We haven't upgraded or modified this leg vise too much. It still works well, but I really would like to upgrade it with a bench crafted classic vise with a crisscross, uh, but hey, still works. A lot of people ask me about the angled leg vise and what's it for? Does it help prevent racking forces when planing? Answer is no. Uh, the real reason that it exists is so that you can put a drawer side into the mouth of this vise and go all the way to the floor and not encounter the screw or the leg. That's my theory at least, and that's the way we use it. This bench features a homemade wagon vise. This was out before Benchcrafted or anyone else made wagon vices. It works actually really well. It's just a block of yellow pine uh, that rides back and forth on a couple slides and is driven by one of those uh, European screws that you'll find just about everywhere. Uh, this one was intended for shoulder vice, I believe. A um, couple square dogs uh, are the uh, primary work holding or faces here, except for a couple modifications that we have made here in the last two years. And I'm about to show you one of those here in just a minute. We're here below the workbench top, and this is uh, a little gizmo made by record. And uh, you just screw it to the underside of the bench top, and then you can move the planing stop up and down. So here we'll go. Yeah, look at that, see? It's just a piece of wood and uh, highly effective, uh, gets out of the way, easy to install, uh, probably the easiest commercial uh, planing stop that I've ever installed. One of the big advantages and disadvantages uh, to this bench is this wide front apron. It's outstanding for when you're edge planing, but it really gets in the way when we're trying to do some operations on the top of the workbench. Uh, whenever we need to clamp stuff to the top of the workbench, a chair seat or something uh, unusual, uh, we rely on these holdfast holes. Probably need a few more, but uh, this is what we've got. Um, and so whenever we're like, ah, we just need to clamp this to the bench top, that apron really gets in the way. Um, we get around it, but still, sometimes I wish it wasn't there. Though I'm not a huge fan of drawers beneath a bench top. I sure do love having a shelf under there. This is where we keep a lot of our uh, bench appliances for classes here at the storefront and uh, this uh, shelf definitely uh, pulls its weight. I know this might not seem like uh, a big mod but it's one of my favorites. We put these shaker pegs on just about every workbench we have and that's where we hold our mallets and our bench brushes and stuff like that and uh, couldn't get along without them. Speaking of silly modifications, uh, we try to equip every bench here with a bench light. And these are these old architects uh, lights that we get off eBay for about 20 bucks. And then we make a little gizmo that allows them to move uh, from dog hole to dog hole or um, to any sort of hold fast hole in the workbench. These are outstanding for older eyes and detail work in general. All in all, I'm still really happy with this workbench. As you can see, it's butted up against my French oak uh, workbench. It is uh, the bench I use the second most in our workshop. Uh, this is where we'll pile up parts and I will come over here and work on faces when I have something that uh, 
really is unusual and needs to be pinched between dogs. So very much worthwhile to build, but watch out for that front apron.